I cannot wish that someone else with an Oscar Mayer wiener. I will not cut the vault guards in on the hall instead of fighting them. 1980s breakdancing moves had their place, in front of the Vodassi Prince is not one of them. Just because I was paid in advance doesn't mean I can let the incompetent expedition leader die. There is a limit to how much innuendo I can fit into one combat round. Even if it was just my character speaking, I will not claim Texas was stolen from Mexico. I will live longer that way. I cannot put Nodens on speed dial. I will not attempt to clear out the dungeon using only Bangalore torpedoes. Picking his pocket means more than just turning him upside down and shaking him vigorously. I will not do anything that Bilbo Baggins hates. Even if I have enough, putting silencers on my minigun doesn't work. There is no such thing as a magic murder bag of holding. I will stop referring to the Eladrin as just the Elf Mach 2. I will not shoot vampires in the chest with a large pistol just so they have to explain the embarrassing sucking chest wound. I will not take a phobia of anything that doesn't exist in the game world. If I have an ability that lets me alter minor aspects of my appearance, that doesn't include girth. Add bulldozers to the list of things vampires are allergic to. Can't strangle a werewolf with a roll of Kodak film, no matter what we all know it's made out of. In the middle of a Black Ops, I will not use up all the claymores just because I don't want to take them back with me. I cannot have my mercy surgically removed. Even if I'm in charge, I can't order the Assault Lance to perform West Side Story dance routines. If given a Holy Avenger sword, I can't melt it down and reforge it into a weapon my paladin actually uses. Even if it still gives a combat bonus to everybody else, I can't just stand there and read a comic book behind the villain. In the middle of a Black Ops, I can't call my girlfriend to remind her to pick up some Chinese on her way home. I will leave out mating rituals when presenting a cultural exchange with diplomatic ambassadors. Letting the red shirt guard the plane is really frowned upon, as it doesn't leave anybody to sacrifice to the Shogoths. Cannot start the campaign on fire. Will not start all my skills at 89% just so I get massive sand boost early. I cannot rickroll people with any video that increases their mythos lore. I will refrain from casting Dimension Jump at Magnificent Mansion on every police box we pass. I cannot wish we were playing the previous edition of the game. Summoning a water elemental right above the fire elemental doesn't work. There will be no more debating how much XP Mr. Tumnus would be worth. I cannot be the bizarro version of another player. Nowhere in my Barbarian's description will I include the word jaunty. My SU does not get bonus frequent fire miles automatically during character generation. Doesn't matter how big we make it, a pit trap isn't going to take out the Tarrasque. I have to go into the dungeon, not just send in dozens of summoned creatures every morning. Fireballs don't have a non-lethal option, I will ponder this after I cast one at the guy we needed alive. My weapon is a three flaming flail, not my great balls of fire. I will not use a portable hole to cheat at golf. In the middle of a Black Ops, I will not look at the target's HR files to see if they have better benefits. I will not use the Mage's Staff of Wizardry in lieu of a pool cue. Torching the forest doesn't give me any XP for anything inside the forest. I cannot have any gun that lets me kill the villain without being at least an adjacent county. A second level commoner is not twice as common as a first level commoner. If we don't have a thief, I can't call AAA to Slim Jim the dungeon entry door. I will lick the Rodian's antennae and stick him to the wall while he sleeps. No matter how long his speech is, my sniper will not shoot the speaker introducing the target. During the side jump, my neutral can't do mean things to the Scions while they are tripping. I will not try to feed the Quinn extremely salty food to see if he melts. Our mission is to rescue the princess, not to bring Sexy back. Even if given detailed instructions on pages 50-51, can't take Cloud City on a joyride. I can't wish to change my vote on what module we're playing. Baseline is not an acceptable perform skill specialty. Thrykreen does not have the flaw obsession pretty lights. The party leader is not the one that looks best in a chainmail bikini. I can't make it rain before the invention of paper currency. If I make a cowboy with the youngin' flaw, I can't name him Sue. 
If I don't have any points in medtech, I can't try faith healing. We will not end every adventure with a public service announcement. If my character requires the GM to memorize the rules for siege warfare, he's vetoed. We can't trade the ranger for a giant, pirate, or padre. I am forbidden from using more than ten source books to make one character. I will wait for the GM to finish his incredibly complicated riddle before answering correctly. I can't wish for somebody to publish the rules for gnomes or bards. The time machine is not for collecting autographs. I can stop rolling at seven times dead. I am forbidden for doing anything that makes a passerby flinch. If even the rules allow it, I can't have my uneducated peasants start with every known language. If the rules contradict Isaac Newton, Newton wins. I will not send the villain a fake message his mother is coming and then attack him while he's cleaning. My brooding costume vigilante can't take the flaw, dark secret, well-adjusted to society. Despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, Dick Clark is not Shimsu Heru. Even if I spend the points, I can't take the USS Montana as an ally. My knight will not buy a Shetland pony just so he can use his lance underground. <coughs> I will remember the spiked chain cheese monster is allergic to the improved Sunderfeet. I will stop asking NPCs how much XP they are worth. The seduction skill does not have a two-hit on roll. No matter how well I make my bluff check, the Star Destroyer crew isn't going to believe I'm the new captain. Dressing up the wizard as the monk still won't stop monsters from appearing beside him and attacking him first. When asked what game we want to LARP, Frogger is not an option. Chewing Hoga leaves does not make me a goddamn sexual rhinodon. No, it won't help if we put a silencer on the bazooka. When approached by a famous historical figure, I can assume he's a time traveler and not a zombie. Paladins do too urinate. In the middle of a black ops, my buttocks is forbidden from making contact with the target's copy machine. It's okay to feed the Ewoks after midnight. Flashbangs are not to be handed out to trick-or-treaters. <laughs> a stagehand does not get a better sneak bonus than ninjas. I will not conga line the pattern. Superpowers that are only useful to art majors are vetoed. My last wish cannot be for a cage match between Cthulhu, Godzilla, Galactus, and the Tarrasque. I will avoid making wishes that locks the game in an infinite time loop. I will not go to FTL just to avoid the red lights. I will not min-max the appraised skill just to clean up on the prices right. Even if we cleared it out, we can't turn White Plume Mountain into a theme park. Even if the rules allow it, I can't put a spinal-mounted weapon on a bicycle. I cannot have a destroyer that requires me to take the ally advantage two dozen times just to crew it. Stan Lee does not have to make a cameo appearance in every single adventure. <laughs>